a t-shirt that says, Hollywood isn't the same without Peggy Mealy. Okay, Peggy Mealy was not well known. She's deceased now. She was not well known even in her heyday. Not real well known. She was like a kind of level two actress. Not usually the star of the film or the TV show. But she was a frequent guest star on TV shows. And, um, you know, she did her part to make various movies. She played a secretary in The Bigamist. Ida Lupino's The Bigamist. Uh, she played a uh, two-timing wife in Midnight Story. And again, um, these two, her in both cases, she didn't have a really large role. But um, she had one of those roles that, uh, you know, was kind of a, it was like a second tiered. And she always did very well with her role, okay? Uh, usually she played a kind of cheap, tacky sort of character. I don't know if that reflects on what she was like in real, real life. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Um, she also had a part in a 17-minute short that's really, really cute called Borrowed Blonde. Um, and I really strongly recommend it because it really is um, a fun little short. Um, she also, her uh, most unsympathetic character was in a radio show called Dragnet the Big Love. Okay. The Big Love was about a lady who ran off with, you know, a married lady who ran off with another man. And she took her two-year-old child with her. But the evidence was very clear that while that kid was the apple of her father's eye, her mommy really didn't, wasn't really attached to her, which I think happens sometimes. Um, maybe it could be a chemical thing. Sometimes the chemicals fail to activate when a woman is pregnant and she simply does not bond with that. When the baby's born, there's no bonding because certain brain chemicals just didn't activate. And they told the story of a of a mother who really didn't like her child, yet when she runs off with this fellow, she takes the kid with her. And it's not good for the kid. Dragnet the big love. It's not good for the kid at all. Because uh, she was a very, very bad mother. And um, the uh, other man was even worse as a stepdad. And I won't give the thing away in case somebody might listen to it. But the ending was pretty bad. Okay, she was a very unsympathetic character. But uh, she was a good actress. She inspired me to write a, a, a poem called um, The Adulteress Wears Dark Glasses in the Dark that was inspired by her performance in The Midnight Story. And um, I just really had a, had a thing about Peggy Mealy. And... I was very happy to find out that apparently at least a few other people do because this was not a t-shirt specially made for me. Okay. It was a t-shirt I found on Amazon. So I just want to say something about an actress, Peggy Mealy, um, of whom I am a fan. And, um, I like to encourage other people to watch her, watch her, um, films and TV shows. She was on Perry Mason three times. And acquitted, I've seen all three uh, episodes, and she did very well in each of them with, you know, different types of characters. I like to encourage you to listen to the um, Dragnet, The Big Love. And I'd especially like to li encourage you to see Borrowed Blonde. It's only 17 minutes long, and it's a lot of fun. And I hope you like that, and will subscribe to my channel.